Fox Carolina Weather, weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Welcome back to the morning news at 10 o'clock. Is it really winter for not seeing areas receiving some snow, some sleet, even some freezing rain and plain old snow showers? Well, we are talking about a widespread area receiving snow today and even portions of the upstate getting in on some of this winter weather action too. It's all thanks to an area of low pressure that is currently just sitting across our area, basically directly uh, on our viewing area. And that is continuing to flare up some of these showers as you can see right here as we focus in at first across the upstate so easily back towards Anderson and even into Greenwood having some rainfall right now but across northeast Georgia a rain snow mix having some sleet falling there and then look at Greenville and Spartanburg County as you can see it's basically the entire county dealing with a rain snow mix and even some sleet so some snow could fall here near the escarpment and into northern portions of the upstate within these next few hours before we fully transition back over to rain showers, but focusing in right now on Greenville and Highland. That's where we are seeing right now some snow flurries flying. Yes, yeah, so yes, here across the F state we have that. Now as we look at western portions of North Carolina, Bryson City having a rain snow mix right now and more snow favoring the mountains, especially the higher terrain. Now temperatures favoring that snow across western North Carolina at freezing, if not some areas slightly below or above our temperatures are starting to warm up now but it's still going to be that winter weather across the highest peaks. So winter storm warnings in effect still until midnight tonight for northeast Georgia, as well as the mountains. Now northern fringes of the upstate under that winter weather advisory. In the purple color, this is an area that we're not going to have widespread snowfall. It's just going to be a few pockets here and there. You can see this on future casts. So as we fast forward the clock and stop it here at lunchtime, we'll still hold on to the chance of scattered rain showers across the upstate. We will start to see that rain snow line pulling up farther towards the north and east, holding on to that snow across the higher terrain as we get into the evening hours. Now here's a look at four o'clock already our western counties starting to dry out, but that rain will still hold across Greenville and Spartanburg, not ruling out having maybe a burst of winter weather across eastern portions of the upstate around four or five o'clock. But regardless, most of us should just be looking at rain by the afternoon and onward. And we're still talking about some accumulations out there. Nicole, tell us more a little bit about that. Yeah, one to four additional inches of snow possible between today and this after right now and this afternoon, really for the mountains. A wintry mix, maybe an inch of slushy kind of mess on some sidewalks or potentially the grassy surfaces in the central and northern upstate. And then the far south, it's mainly just rain. If you saw some snowflakes, it would not be a big issue there in the far southern upstate. The wind has been picking up from the north and east. It's eventually going to shift and come out of the north, so we are still in for some breeziness today and the cold air to stick around. Currently, it feels like the 20s and low 30s in most spots, and it's not going to warm up much if at all today. Highs get to just 39 in the upstate with a mix of rain and snow and gusty wind. The mountains more so widespread snow with a high of just 35 degrees. So as we, of course, look at what's happening into the weekend, there will be some welcome changes coming with highs around 50 and 52 degrees Saturday and Sunday for the upstate. Plenty of sunshine. You will want to watch for some overnight freeze, considering any wet areas that are still in place could have some slick spots each morning over the weekend. Of course, we'll have more on this coming up in a couple minutes.